Hi everyone, I'm Piper Clem. I'm publisher of The Plaid Horse Magazine. You can find us at thepladhorse.com. Um, I was asked a couple weeks ago if I had any advice for a uh, mid-20s reporter in the equestrian industry. Um, and my answer to her was that it is all about investing in the people who are going to invest in you. Um, there's a lot of talk of quiet quitting or doing only what you're asked or only what you're paid for. And all of that is gonna take you as far as that actual job goes. So if you wanna remain completely stagnant in your job, completely stagnant in your wages, um, you can probably do the bare minimum of many jobs and not get fired. You can probably do the bare minimum of a lot of things and continue to hang out and continue to exist, but you're not gonna grow intellectually, you're not gonna grow emotionally, you're not gonna grow in your career, and you're probably not gonna grow in your wages. Um, I'm a big fan of the Peter Principle, which is that we promote people <laughs> to failure. Um, if you haven't read uh, the Peter Principle, I highly recommend it. Um, it's hilarious, it's meant to satire, but anyone who's worked in a corporate office structure will, will find a lot, of, a lot of humor and truth in it. Um, I really believe that when you invest in people, they invest back in you. Um, this is not true with that everyone obviously there are mistakes we've all made them there are people who will just take 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 but when you find those people who are willing to work with you and want to grow you and care about you the more you put yourself out there and invest in them the more they're going to invest back in you um a lot of the negotiation tactics that, that people use are to match what other people do um this is what i do in most of my relationships i am always kind i always put the best foot forward and then whatever the other person does back i match so if I do something good and kind and they do something good and kind back, I do something good and kind and they presumably will do something good and kind back and these grow into great relationships over, over years and decades. Um, if you do something good and kind and the other person doesn't reciprocate, maybe they're not a good fit. Maybe they're not a good fit for growth with you. Um, and it you can keep looking around for, for other people that, that grow and are good to you and good for your career. So you're really not gonna grow unless someone invests in you and invests in time into teaching and training and telling you the things you don't wanna hear and being really honest with you. And that involves you investing in them first. So I really recommend if you wanna grow in this sport, in this industry, in any job, find the people who wanna work with you, you wanna work with them, whose expertise you really believe in and invest in having a good relationship with them and see where it goes. It involves a layer of trust and commitment and anything can happen and we've all been done.